already uh, didn't think uh, that Stefan Stearns was an utter piece of human shit. Uh, you will now uh, even more as we're going to take a listen to the police interview with uh, Stefan Stearns. This is the man who was uh, kind of playing the role of stepdad and also child molester and rapist uh, to Matty Soto. Uh, allegedly, even though police took his phone and have charged him mm-hmm. with that because there's images of him having sex with a child, and it happens to be Matty yeah. Soto on there. Um, so it's like it's not really up for debate that much anymore. Um, and of course, he's also been charged with the murder. I think one of the bigger questions here still is: is uh, is Jen Soto going to be charged? She had some interesting testimony the other day as well. Uh, talking about how she uh, felt that uh, it was fine that uh, she and Stefan and Maddie, who was, was she 13? At 12, because I, I thought or, she turned 13 okay, and, then, yeah, and just, disappeared. Yeah, so she would have been 12 or 11 or 10 whenever these things were happening. They shared a bed together. And then she also said that, yeah, even when I'm gone, I, I let him go and sleep in the same bed together. Him and his her daughter. It's uh, not it's not her biological father. It's not and it's it's oh yeah, just cuddle up there. Uh ignorance? What did she know? When did she know it? She has not been charged with anything as of right now, but uh Stefan certainly has. Uh this is his uh, account of of kind of what went on during his uh, police interview. This is before he was charged with anything. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to kind of hear his reactions to things just to put it uh, into context for the timeline of when all of this uh, is taking place. We'll play it and pause as we go uh, throughout. I know that you already spoke to the other detective, right, about everything that kind of happened today. If you can just kind of go over it with us one more time, the timeline from, like, when you guys woke up and took her to school and all that. <sighs> So we woke up early. Um, The plan was that we were going to get McDonald's breakfast on the way. So we made amazingly good time. I I don't mean to interrupt you, okay? Um, Neither of us were here yesterday. So if you can be kind of like specific about like times and and stuff like that, okay? Um, Woke up around 7, 7 7.15, somewhere around there, um, which is an early start for us. But we had talked about getting McDonald's breakfast beforehand. So we wanted to make good time. We did make good time. We got out the door maybe 7.30, 7.45-ish, maybe. Um, got over to that area. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. We got to McDonald's. Hmm. We're close to McDonald's. I said, do you still want it? She wasn't interested in the McDonald's anymore, so we continued on. Which, by the way, it's... it's Wait, what? It's, it's, do you want McDonald's still? And she's sleeping in the car. He says... Doesn't want it anymore, so we continued on. Um, it's what kid doesn't want McDonald's? That should be the sign number one that you're a murderer. <laughs> but that's oh, the God. thing. That's the thing. The security cameras that had caught him driving around with her, they believe she was already dead when this was happening. So if you ask a corpse if they'd like McDonald's and they don't give you a response, uh, it's not surprising. What's even more surprising is if the corpse does give you a response. <laughs> it's like Yes. Like, oh, shit. I thought you were dead. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah. know, the, the issue is maybe he didn't want security cameras picking up on a dead child in the mm. back seat. Well, yeah, it's his little uh, narcissistic thought of like, oh, we were going to go do this where you could totally catch me if I did anything wrong. But, oh, she decided she didn't want it. So we didn't do it. Like, meanwhile, you don't realize there's fucking security cameras everywhere you drive. I mean, yeah. you're being picked up everywhere. Well, this is going to work out well. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Continuing on. And uh, she wanted to be dropped off a little down the ways from the school. Uh, she's got this phase that she's been into lately where she's very particular about what car she's seen getting out of in front of the school. Um, she prefers her mom's car, but my cars are, I guess, kind of hoopties. Um, I get it. It's an image thing. But... Um, That was sometime probably between 8.20 and 8.40-ish, somewhere in there. It was along the stretch of the road that, um, on the right side, that has all the communities on it. Mm -hmm. Before you get to the overpass, you could see the overpass from where it was. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so it was on that side on that stretch of road. Yeah. That's where I dropped her off. She said she was going to go wait for her friends. She was going to go find them and hang out and wait for her friends. And I asked if that was going to be okay. She said, yeah, it's fine. Um, kids get dropped off early enough as it is. So it's not totally unusual for that to happen. It's just not usually that early that I drop her off. I mm -hmm. do school runs every once in a while for her. Um, I said, okay. Let her out. Have a good day. Love you. Thanks. Love you, too. And I turned around and was driving away and was watching her in my rearview mirror to make sure that she was going where she was supposed to go. And she was moving in that direction, but she was rummaging around in her backpack or something. What I assumed was probably headphones or something like that, but I found out later that she forgot her phone here, so she may have been rummaging for her phone. Um, Which that part is also complete bullshit because he threw the fucking backpack away. Yeah. In a dumpster. Huh. Yeah. So wow. and none of this happened. None of this took place at all. He never dropped her off. She never got what out of the car. Of never did anything, but has this whole elaborate story. And incidentally, it's exactly the same story or pretty close to the same story that uh, Jen said. We had told uh, police as well. Again, she has not been charged, but was she telling the same story because she was told the same story by him? Or did she know that she was lying? Because if you look at those interviews of her, she looks like she's lying. Again, mm -hmm. not been charged with anything. But uh, put the pieces together. And I think you're going to find a complicit monster. Uh, or one of the dumbest people on the planet. Uh, one of the two. Uh, if you're allowing this creepy fuck to sleep with your daughter, and you're aware of it, you should probably be put away as well. And by put away, Did I mean hear, uh, I mean in the ground, uh, eight feet below. That's how I think you should be put away. Continue on. Did I hear what? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought you were hitting the button no, there. No. Um, did you hear about when police showed Jen Soto's mom uh, the mm -hmm. very disturbing photo? I mean probably the most disturbing a mother could see your daughter doing with another man um, and, and her reaction. No, I did not. Yeah. So I'm going to get a little graphic here and I'm sorry if it's triggering for anybody, but Jen was showed a picture of his penis in her daughter's mouth. And she said, I don't know what that is, but then she became visibly upset. Like she Claimed she didn't know what it was, but then she knew exactly what it was. Really? I've not seen so, that. So, yeah. Yeah, I read that yesterday. It was in uh, some legal document. No, we don't um, We don't actually have a video just, of it. It's, it's a description of the event, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just horrible. So, you know, and this was a picture that he got off of his phone. Yeah. Uh, we get to the phone here in the he audio this picture in, in a moment, uh, and his reaction is priceless. Let's keep listening. But she was still kind of making her way towards towards that direction, so it looked okay. It looked like any other day, and I just continued on. After you dropped her off, what did you do? Uh, stayed, talked to her for a minute, told, made sure, you know, is it, is it all right that you're going early? Because it was, it was still early. Mm -hmm. um, she said, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to hang out and wait for my friends to get there, which she does sometimes. So it didn't, didn't sound, you know, outrageous or anything. Um, that was it. Told her to have a good day. I loved her. She told me she loved me too. I turned around to leave and I was watching her in my rearview mirror. And she looked like she was walking in the right direction. She was rummaging in her bag a little bit, like I said, uh, but still sort of just shambling in the right direction while she was doing it. Um, so it looked it looked normal. It looked okay. Okay, and then what did you do after you left the area? Uh, I left to go to the local vape shop because I needed some more vape juice. Um, they weren't quite open yet, so... I ended up going back home, waited about an hour or so, and then went back and checked the vape shop again. Uh, it was open, so I got what I needed there and uh, came back. Do you remember what time you came home? 
The first time was probably right around 10, close to it. And then I waited here and went back to the vape shop. Um, probably finished at the vape shop and came back home again a little after 11. And then what'd you do after that? Uh, I had a couple errands to run over on 192. Um, she was talking about making a BJ shopping list. Um, she just wanted to make sure I was back in time for us to both go pick up. Um, so I was visiting some card shops around the area on 192. Um, I'm kind of a nerd, so we had a new trading card game release, and I was seeing what the situation was with it. Do you remember what places you visited? Uh, yeah, Coliseum of Comics. Um, stopped by a couple of Targets, and I was going to go to House Rules Games down by Oak and 192, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't make it that far. I got a flat tire on the way. Do you remember where you got your flat tire? It was on 192. I pulled into over into one of those plazas somewhere. Um, it's been about 10 years since I switched out a tire, though, so I made a lot of rookie mistakes and ended up pinning my thumb between the frame and the, oh, the no. jack. Yeah, I'm lucky it's not a lot worse than it could have been. Do you remember the name now. of the plaza by any chance? I don't Do you remember so. like what stores were it, in this it was, plaza? It was like right before you got to Oak though, so it was one of those little strips. Okay. I don't know, you've probably been asked already, but she's never ran away or been away for longer than a certain period of time, uh, amount of time. No, like well, she's very dependent on us. I don't think she'd know what to do if she did run away. She's not the type. She's a good kid. Besides the ADHD, mm -hmm. is she diagnosed with anything else? Uh, yeah, um, she was tested a while back and had some symptoms of autism, so she's potentially on the spectrum there. Okay. She was officially diagnosed with it when she was younger, and then she was retested and said, well, she shows symptoms of being on the spectrum, but maybe not full-on autistic. When did you come back to help um, her name? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Like, because you live down south, right? Mm -hmm. When did you come back up north to help her? Um, I just got here this weekend. Do you remember what day it was? Uh, Sunday? Sunday was her birthday party, so yeah, it was it was the evening after her birthday party. Sunday. Okay. Do you remember what time you got here on Sunday? Um, 8, 8.30ish, maybe. Okay. Just in time to make sure that she was doing all her nighttime routines and waiting for her mom to get home. Keep in mind, this, this guy, uh, he's, he's talking all like this and really calm and in this creepy fucking tone. Uh, within like the last 24 hours, he murdered her. Yeah, and he's, he's talking about her as though, you know, she's this, this delicate child and, you know, she's had a little trouble here and there and but she's a she's a good kid, you know. She would know what to do if she ran away. Um, yeah, you know. like, she's dead. She's yeah. dead at this point. Yep. And he's got that whole persona of just this, this innocent, nice man. And I'm just, oh my gosh, it's just so fucking fake. Let's continue. Did you guys go anywhere last night? Was that media? Maybe I think Fox Thirty Five or something. Yeah, let me right. if it is. Let me tell him to move to the Okay. Um, I don't recall. You have to ask her if we went anywhere. I don't recall. I was so zonked out on Ativan at that point. Okay. So I was a wreck. Uh, I don't. And this would have been when? Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't recall us going anywhere last night. But I, honestly, at that point, my brain was mush, and I was on so many tranquilizers to keep me stable. I was just. You said Ativan? Yeah. You make a U-turn, you go back to the McDonald's, but you said that she still doesn't want the McDonald's. Still doesn't want it. She was just going to eat the Danishes that I had given her. So you're going up here now, still northbound on Jong-Yong Parkway. Mm -hmm. You make a left at Town Center yep. this time. Town Center, then make, then a, make right a right onto, mm -hmm. yes. And the then, then you drop road. her off around like dropped eight. her off around halfway up the road there. Okay. Uh, so keep in mind, all of this is still northbound. Okay. Right? You're still northbound on Jong-Yong Parkway. Northbound. So... Why is your car seen going southbound at 810? At... Hmm. Uh -uh. 
I'll show you what location it is. McDonald's is over here. Mm -hmm. At 810, your car is seen going southbound at this intersection. Come up with something so really quick. going toward Kissimmee. Mm-hmm. I had forgotten some. I had forgotten my gate clicker. I'm sorry. I forgot. I had gone back to the house real quick after we left because um, I had forgotten my gate clicker. Um, right. I actually had to go through the front gate and use my parking pass uh, to grab my clicker. So it was the wrong time. I'm. I'm sorry. I, like I said, I was guesstimating these times. I'm not a morning person. I don't think I have any other questions. Uh, do you I don't know where my head was yesterday. It was so far up my backside. Oh, keep talking. It's okay, we understand. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for all this to get sorted out, Here I'm going to hold on to your phone, okay? Um, I'll <laughs> give it back to you when we're done. Okay. okay? Do you have any questions for us? Um, how long are you going to need my phone? That's. I'm not sure. I'm waiting for my supervisor yeah. to call me. My dad. No, it's just my dad's using that to get a hold of me and get updates. Yeah, they can call Jen's phone. Okay. Did the other detective give you his business card? Um, I believe so. Okay, well, here's mine in case you want it for any reason. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you swear that everything you told us is true? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. I know it's a little hectic right now. Yeah. He think he knows the jigs up with mm -hmm. the phone. Because he knows what's on yeah, that phone. Yeah, but he wiped it clean. Well, he thought he wiped it didn't, clean enough. But didn't he wipe it? They, got, they recovered it all. <sighs> yeah. God, he's just, he's so, he's so gross. I mean, I, I wish that he just sat there and didn't answer questions. What bothers me more is how matter of fact and concerned he seems. Yeah. And knowing what he did. It's a monster. <sighs> Monsters aren't always, you know, the things we think of where it's big and scary and obvious. The worst yeah. ones are like this. They're quiet. They're sedated. They're chill. And they're capable of doing the most heinous things you can imagine. And they're all over the place. That's the real scary part. Wow. Uh, uh, they walk amongst us. They do. They do. I'm, I'm still very curious, though, what's going to happen to uh, Jen Soto. I think there needs to be, and I'm sure they are. They said the investigation is not done yet. Still going on. Uh, so we'll see where that goes, because I'm wondering if it's going to She's going to spill some information on other predators that maybe he was sharing these in images with um, if she has knowledge of that sort of thing. Uh, maybe there's a plea deal or something working out for the greater good of we'll let her go, but we'll be able to bust a whole bunch of other people. I mean, that would not be bad, but uh, at the same point... Uh, yeah, I, I think it. I wish they could be like, okay, here's the plea deal. Okay, great. Tell us. Okay, we're going to arrest you anyhow. <laughs> we, we're just kidding. We're just, thank you for yeah. telling us all this. You're still a horrible person and we're going to arrest you, but that's not how the system works. But uh, it's going to get darker. It's going to get darker. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.